Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Cowie. Happy birthday to you. You're singing? No, we we're trying to get five minutes trying to play it on the song. <laughs> we're like, <laughs> <laughs> still five minutes to work. Looking good, Cal. Thank you. I got one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Gold. Obviously. Thanks. Obviously. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, one for you. You want to wear it? Yes. We follow Cal in this morning. Good morning, everyone. I did not get home until about two o'clock in the morning last night. Carrie and I stayed out for drinks because it is Carrie's 30th birthday today. And so we went to just like have some drinks after my meetup. So I'm probably looking a little bit tired today because I was up still like fairly early because an item of furniture, what is that with my hair, was going to its new home lol but I had just the most wonderful evening do you know what I don't know who gets more out of meetups I don't know whether it's you or me I think it's me personally because I can't tell you how good it is for me to meet you guys and just listen to you and hear about the little bit of like escapism that I might give you from my video sorry I'm just checking there Sorry, my brother texted me then. Today I am just finishing off some work and then Carrie and I are gonna do some baking that we're probably gonna take to her parents' house tonight for her birthday dinner. So Ali and I are going over there and it's gonna be Carrie, her boyfriend, her sister, her boyfriend and her mum and dad. Obviously I won't be filming that other than maybe the food and a little bit of me and Carrie maybe. Probably not even that because her family are not on the internet and like I always have to be like respectful of those things. I always feel like my like life other than Ali and I are they're quite removed from being online so you never really see much of that on here i don't know anyway we're gonna go and celebrate her 30th and i gave her her present this morning as you would have seen ali and i were trying to like frantically get the the sonos to play happy birthday but it wasn't working but i really hope she likes her birthday present i did ask her what she wanted so i hope she likes it what else is the plan of action for today oh i will show you what was in all of like my goodie bags and stuff last night because we had a goodie bag from intimacy me as well i also tried to buy some tights like i literally just needed tights i'm gonna put them on today because i need tights because i went to calcedonia which is the shop next door to intimacy me and they're obviously like sister brands but they didn't let me buy them but i was literally like i just need tights and i've actually never tried their tights and i've heard such good things so i bought the 50 denya like control tights i just love control tights like around the like leg and tummy area i always tend to opt for control tights they just feel a little bit more secure and i feel like they stay up better so i'm going to review my tights throughout the day because obviously i am a tight fiend at the moment loving the tights and i'm going to get on with my day which is exciting right in here i am showing you the tights first of all oh no did i only get two i thought i got three pairs damn it oh no poo sticks but two is better than none because i literally only have two other pairs of tights so i'm gonna wear a pair of these today and i will update you sorry about my hair i haven't done it yet also how cute is this obviously i never ever 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 want anyone to feel like they have to bring me any gifts when they come to my meetups but some of this stuff is very very cute and i just couldn't not show you this stuff so kim managed to kim is someone who comes to a lot of my meetups and she is just the sweetest, sweetest girl. Well, she managed to find me hot toddy in my favorite Woodwick candle. And these are no longer available. So she has kindly hooked me up with one of my favorite Woodwick candles. Yeah, amazing. And she's also popped something in here from Karen Millen. Oh, and it's a Karen Millen candle. Oh, wow, that smells very lemony. Oh, wow, that's very sweet. Kim is so cute. Then someone else had like merch made for me. Look at this. It's got my logo on it. How good is that? And this is like something I would actually wear. I bloody love this. <laughs> and then she's also done me a hoodie, which it's in nude as well. How gorgeous. Oh my God, it's on the back as well. How gorgeous 
is that such amazing quality as well. These feel super soft. I love that. You will see me wearing this around my house. They've also popped in some little chocolates. Ooh, wafers. Ooh. And there's a little card in here as well. Because of you, I laugh a little harder, cry a little less, and smile a lot more. Over the moon with those. And then I also obviously went to see L'Oreal, so I picked up some new bits from L'Oreal because what we established, because obviously you know that I love L'Oreal and it's like the only drugstore brand that I use, but I wasn't receiving their new releases. I think maybe things were going to my old address and we kept trying to tell them, but we just weren't receiving them. So they popped a bag of like new releases in here. Obviously I've already got these lipsticks from when we went to Paris Fashion Week. My favorite is No Obstacles. This one is No Doubt. And what else do we have? Ah, No Obstacles. So I've got a top up, amazing. There is also the new infallible 24 hour matte cover foundation. I also have the new Botanics, which for me, Botanics works super well on my hair because it's not got any like things that irritate my scalp. So this is for damaged hair, reinforces hair from root to tip. This is their Arnica shampoo and conditioner. Lovely. Also the LV Dream Lengths Frizz Killer Serum. This is going to be great because obviously I am trying to grow my hair back. Just a little bit, not too much. But I want to obviously stop it from breaking or anything like that. Not that it feels like it's in bad condition. My hair feels bloody amazing. So that was from L'Oreal. I've also finally got myself a new toothbrush. And I have a lot of stuff in this office slash dressing room, whatever it is, to tidy up. So let's get to it. I'm just finishing up in here, but we've got something really exciting happening today. Oh, I'm out of focus, sorry guys. I'm just gonna give Ali the vlogging camera. He's gonna tell you all about what's happening today in the garden, aren't you? Gonna give them a full introduction and let them know what we're doing. What happened is I've just had a fresh ass trim. Ooh, that line's looking clean. Beard's coming through strong. Is that nice? Lovely. Good. But that's not what's happening today. Okay, what's happening today is a very, very special day because today we're going to be planting a birch tree in silver the garden. Birch. It's a silver birch because obviously silver white, whitish, in memory of Lynx. We're not saying that Lynx is definitely not with us, even though that's our, our gut thought is yeah. that he's not. We're 99.9% sure he's not yeah. with us anymore. So we're going to plant a tree just for us to have that in the garden because obviously we don't have him in the garden so we're gonna go out there now with the gardener and he's gonna put it in the ground for us and then we've got a little seated area in that same location so if we ever want to go and sit out there and just have a little think about him then that is a place that we can go i think that's suggested by alex wasn't it mm. yeah alex harrison suggested that it's a lovely suggestion yeah and we're following through with it his name's so. not alex harrison babe he's alex mcgrath okay or mcgrath harrison mcgrath Harrison McGrath. But babe, hold on, wait, 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 wait. That seating area is only temporary though, for when we have our proper fire pit. Yeah, but it's been temporary, babe, for about two years. Yeah, but it's because we haven't had the money to do the garden. So why don't we put, put it where we're going to put the fire pit? Where are we putting the fire pit? Where the old play area was. Are you sure? We've not made these plans. Yeah, that was where we were going to put it. Where we were? Cause yeah, it's where we've always talked about putting the new fire pit. Mm. Back corner. Where it's in the forest, still. Shall I go and have a look and see what's best? Yeah, because it, it needs to be like where the trees are. Yeah, you can just do it around the edge of the... Okay, well, okay. Yeah? You sure? I think so, because then it means when the real fire pit is built, we can still sit by Linky's tree. Okay. Let's see if you can see it from the window, actually, as well. Because if you can see it from the house, that might be quite nice as well. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because then you can see it from here, so you can look out at it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So obviously, we were going to stick it over by this fireplace over here. Pretty much where it's potted at the moment. But this apparently, Aaron's temporary and it's not going to stay. I thought it was, but apparently it's not. So we were going to stick it over there, but we're now going to stick it around here somewhere. And the reason why that's going to work so nicely if we were to stick it around here is that this is going to be eventually the area where we have our fire pit. So this will be where we'll actually sit. And then if we plant it cleverly, then we'll actually be able to see it from the back of the house, which would be quite nice as well. I'm almost finished with this sort out. And I thought, I just realised I hadn't opened the Napco stuff with you in my other video. 
They've been trying to send me this for ages, so I thought I'd open it with you at the moment. We've got this gorgeous little box here. So, such beautiful little branding as well. I just love it. And I think they specialise in like silk bits and bobs. Dear Lydia, a little Christmas gift for you and Carrie, as we know you love a pure silk scrunchie as much as we do. I only use silk scrunchies and only have, oh, oh my goodness. So there's ivory ones, nude, oh my goodness, little pink ones. I love these ones. These ones are so handy, these little kind of hair ties that don't damage your hair because when you have like colour put in your hair, like I do, you have to use silk. I sleep on a silk pillow as well and these are just perfect. Such a beautiful Christmas gift as well. Lovely. Anyway, Carrie's making lunch and then we're going to do some baking and just have a lovely day, I think. A lovely, lovely day. I'm almost done organising this room as well because it was a hot mess. I'm going to take these out and put these in my scrunchie jar actually. I'm going to keep these ones out and I'm going to put these in my scrunchie jar. There we go. I've got a full scrunchie jar. Very happy. Oh, cheers. <laughs> we have party hats on. No, but they like you when you have your glasses on. Don't feel like they you They prefer have to it when you have my glasses on. No, no, no. On. They like you with your glasses on. No, I don't. Like so we're birthday besties today. It's this one's 30th and she's teaching me to bake. We're making biscotti. Yeah, which I, oh, I can't even get over how good Carrie's biscotti is. It's literally the best biscotti I've ever tasted. Healthy too. And healthy well, too. Healthier well, health, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Healthier than regular biscotti. Yes, yes, yes. So, she's already started without me, which makes me sad, but fair enough. Just, you fast. <laughs> Birthday besties. Come in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need water though, hold on. I need wine. I know, I was gonna say that, but we're drying. Well, I'm a glass. You want a glass? No, it's not cold. Oh. It's like literally, it's only just arrived. No, let's drink the wine for later. Okay. Ali's not drinking tonight. I shouldn't drink tonight, but I am. <laughs> you don't really have anything to do tomorrow though. I mean, you might not be. What do you have to do? I mean, I love that I thought I was going to be a, I love that I was like, yeah, today I'll get everything wrapped up by midday, chilled afternoon. I'm like, nope, just thought I was bald. It's, 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 it's that's it's how simple. I feel. That is how I feel. Come on, honey. Honey. Okay, where am I? Where's my Where's your what? My cookery book that tells, oh, it's my notes. Here, I've got it here for you. I've brought it up. Okay. Do you know what I need to get? One of those stands for iPad. A cookery book stand. Yeah, for iPad. But to use the sacrilege of technology rather than a pastry and oil shade, like stained cookery book. What do you want to get? An iPad. A pony! Yeah, I do. I think I know. An iPad um, cookery stand. book stand. Just a stand. For you already got me one. Oh, no. I want like a wooden one. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, fig and pistachio. Dessert biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> We're making crackers. 
Uh, one teaspoon of gluten-free baking powder. Already in the flour. Already in the flour. 100 grams of dried figs cut into small pieces. Smaller? These are, I mean, yeah, you can, but I just slice them in. Smaller? Slice them all, and then you can chop them at the end. Should I do the knobbly see, bit? See how they're nice, slightly curved? Yeah. It will rock. But should I do the knobbly bit? Yeah. Or what if someone eats that? It's, it's all edible with them. That's a it's knobbly not, bit, I don't know. That's lovely. Shut up, don't laugh at me. It's going to be 40 by the time you finish. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we play our roles really well. <laughs> Village idiot. <laughs> and, 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 it's like a unicorn horn, like stabbing them. It's like my eyebrows. <laughs> okay, I'm, oh, no, they're so thick. Are they? Look, look. But that's a thick one. Look at the size of that. Excuse me. That's the end of it. Listen, I like my fig thick. <laughs> Listen, I like my fig thick. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> oh, I do love figs. It's ridiculous. You love figs, but you don't like other dry fruit, apart from dates, but only dates when they're in balls. No, I like dried mango. I just don't like raisins. Oh, Cranberries. Because you don't like dates when they involve boys. <laughs> Very good, Alistair. Right. Very good. Now chop into tiny little bits. Not tiny little bits, literally cut them in half, because okay. you want a chunk, you want to be able to see them. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, I'm getting changed, bitch. Ali, fresh, new cut, hatch, chins. Hat, sort it out. You see, now that you've got a beard. Yeah, I had a beard, mate. You, you're one of those rare men that have actual, like, full good beards. Yeah. I'm a rare man. It, like, follows all the way up to your hairline. It's like a proper rather beard. Rather than the weird well, patch that no one can grow. Real hard for these is get it to here. Like oh no, I don't that's like that. That's so nice. Yeah, but they're like the real hairy ones. They're like Santa. They've got hairy arseholes, those guys. <laughs> that's it? Yeah. Anyway, is that right? Yeah? That will do. You, you don't give me any confidence. Why? Because you tell me I'm bad at everything. I am thinking you're bad at everything. You do, you laugh at me. Am I laughing? Yeah. It's just, there's stuff that said that haven't even been touched. Yeah, there is. I, did, I didn't do them too small. Small slices. <laughs> well done. Any more? Probably, but that'll do. Okay, there you go in there. But then, then. This is quite fun. This knife works better when you use force. <laughs> I said every cereal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. Must remember not to scratch my nose at any point <laughs> during baking because <laughs> if I, I'm disgusting. Snot is a great ingredient. Listen, at the end of the day, unless you are eating my baking, I put whatever extras in that I want. <laughs> so, the 70 grams well. of dried frigs. 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 100 grams of walnuts. Oh, Chopped. I've already done that, I've broken them up. Do you know, I've never chopped a walnut in my life and you just stole that experience from me at, at, at 31 years old. I've still not chopped a, a walnut. It's birthday, though. Yeah, I know, but she, she doesn't like me. She's chopped, chopped Brazil. walnuts before. I've chopped Brazil nuts for But like, after that experience, <laughs> I mean... Yay! Memory cards! So just bosh these in as well? Bosh those in. Now do you want me to do the walnuts? No, I'd love you to do the Brazil nuts. The Brazil nuts. No, it'll go everywhere. <laughs> How small? I slice them. Oh. Can I show you one and then you copy? No, I know what you're going to do. Slice them and then no, cut. No, not that way. What way? That way. No, because that's too big a chunk. Like, they, they won't be evenly dispersed because it's quite a... Please, can I show you one? Please, melon! <laughs> 
<laughs> Literally like that. Okay. And watch your fingers at the end. That's a big one. Yeah. Baking video, call me. You know there's cookbook called Bosch. It's being a fucking still my idea. With my recipes. My recipes. This has got extra nose scratchings in it. <laughs> Next one, I have to cut these as well. I'm gonna do this. No! You've got time, Mill! No! Okay, but I'm showing you then because you're not doing it the way you just did it. Literally just that. Can okay. I do that? No, because they'll fry everywhere. We should hold the end. Oh, this is quite therapeutic. Yeah, that's enough. Wash it in. No more. No, because there's some like powder. It doesn't matter. Then then stop. Stop. I did miss the whole row. There would be like dust in there otherwise. Yes. No dust. <laughs> Anybody? No. Now what? Preheat the oven to 150 Use degrees. Oh. Oh. That was way up there. I wash that in. You can wash that in. Now what? Stir. Give it a mix. You enjoying your 30th birthday? It's been such a lovely birthday. You feel very really spoiled. Did you show our friends on the internet what I got you for your birthday? Did you? I no. You were filming me. Oh yeah. Can you make the biscotti with anything any less than 150 grams of coconut sugar? I wouldn't. No. You could reduce it, but you need to make it up with like maple syrup or something, because you need the sweetness. But the moment you change the consistency, so changing a powder to a liquid, biscotti has to be dry, so it needs a dry mix. That's why it's such a thick dough. Okay. Almost there. Half on here, half on here, in the middle. <laughs> Taming the beast! And I lick this bowl afterwards. That's what these are for. One each. Okay. Happy? Yeah. Good. Oh, but it's my birthday! Why did you get that? Can you get the little spoon? Oh, I'll get this one. Can you read the next part of the instructions? It says share some with Lydia. That's yummy. Mm. For too long, so you bake for 35 minutes. Uh, sorry, you wanted to do it. Come on then, bake for 35 minutes. Up here? I love how you just because <laughs> you let all the <laughs> You're like, <laughs> open the oven. <laughs> Does that matter? So like, of course it does. Oh. The oven has to be at the temperature that you need it at to bake. If you let all the heat out, you've got to work quickly when you're baking, when the oven's open. That was my bit. What's well, mine is mine, and what's yours is yours is also mine. I got half an hour. No, what did it say, Millen? Half an hour? No, it didn't. 35 minutes? It's not half an hour. What's that? Well, it's probably been in there for half an hour, for five minutes already. 
I have just been downstairs unpacking boxes in the office because there was more deliveries down there that my husband hadn't told me about. And he's trying to get in a little workout before we go to Carrie's parents for dinner. And he's called me in. Libby, that's not how a workout works. I feel like I can't tell her to not sit on me either because she's purring. <laughs> This is the best bit. I'm not showing you Ali's crotch here, but this is her little belly poking, poking through the hole. You like that? You like a little belly rub? <laughs> Daddy's gone soft, hasn't he? Daddy's gone soft. Yeah, before I would just put you on the floor. I know. <laughs> I need to cherish every moment now with you, don't I? I just liked what you said earlier, putting Lumi's name on the Christmas list and like, she's going to get spoiled fucking rotten. <laughs> Sleepy boogers. So, one of the boxes had some. Oh, it looks like the advent calendar. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. This is addressed to both Ali and I. Dearest Diddy and Ali, wishing you both a truly Merry Christmas and a true scented spectacular. Thank you for everything this year. Lots of love. The Joe Malone team. So this is the Joe Malone advent calendar, which is very special because it's set in the Joe Malone townhouse, like so. Ooh, very nice. I also don't know if I'd shown you yet, but I had a new delivery from Liang and Emil. If you don't remember, our table out here is from Liang and Emil. And I picked this bronze console table that matches the side tables, but it's nice and thin, so it doesn't, you know, come into the walkway too much. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a clear out in here at the moment. I've got some orders going back. I've also got some new lamps that I'm not sure on yet. I, well, I'll keep them no matter what, because they'll go in our house. But I don't know whether to replace these white ones with these sort of glass and black lampshades now i did have these before but the lampshades hadn't been delivered if you remember i just don't know if it'll be too much glass on these side tables if i have these bases as well maybe they'll be good for the spare bedroom we can try them up there i need to get the plastic off the lampshades though 